What is going on, boys and girls of YouTube? Today, we are going to go over a coaching video. We are jungle coaching once again. It looks like Ravana on the box. Yep, we're on the box, which really doesn't matter. So Ravana, jungle coaching. Before we jump into it, remember, you can become a member of the channel. You're already on the video. This is my most recent video. So you're already on this video right below it. You'll see the join button. If you hit the join button at $5 a month, you can get your own badges, your own emotes, your name at the end of every video. I'll reach out to you so you can have your own little shout out message at the end of the videos. Uh, they'll be limited to a set amount of words you can say, but your own shout out. And then you will have early access to guides in certain videos on YouTube. Once we're at 500 subs, I will start cranking those out for people and we'll just do it as we hit other goals. Essentially, you will get a guide five days before everyone else on my YouTube will, and you'll have that advantage. So please think about hitting the join button, becoming a member of the channel. It really does support the hell out of me and the channel. It allows me to keep doing this stuff. So I appreciate it if you are thinking about doing that. Let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay real quick. Do have it muted. Um, don't know what could possibly be set on the other end, so I don't want to risk it. Uh, right off the start, we have a rat on the other team, a soul mid, a chalk support, or sorry, solo, a Sobek support, and a Hachi ADC. He has a Kakulin mid who just missed out on XP, as you can see. Uh, he's already at halfway to level two on Ravido, which means the Kakulin did not get XP off that speed camp, which is unfortunate for him, but works out for you because you should be hitting too early. Now, you do have a Loki solo. All right. All right, small mistake you're already making. Don't ever sit here letting the creep hit you at that much health. Get the creep down to one shot, and he's already in range of you to kill that creep. So you're losing one, two, three seconds. Three seconds you lost because you sat there. Three seconds getting the mid is a long-ass fucking time, especially on a god that already has slow clear. So you kind of fucked yourself there. He does not need to be in range like to auto-attack that blue buff to get XP. That was... Three seconds in a game that goes 25 minutes is a lot of time. A lot of time. Uh, you are being heavily outcleared by this rat right now. He already got mids. That's scary as fuck. To think he got to mid lane and already got mids. They're giving you a free kill. No, go on the soul. Nice. All right, that gank worked out really well for you. I'm not really sure... Uh, what the soul was thinking. He had to have known. He knew the mids were down. He knew you were around. You didn't cross the lane. I don't know. Works out for you. But still, that should never work out for you. Against higher level players, that will literally never happen. This is a great invade to push your lead a little bit farther. Nice job. Don't chase. Good choice. Just keep looking for invades. Your dual lane's already pressured out. Your pathing here is bad. If you wanted to follow the rat, you should have done it right away. But either way, it was a bad follow. You would just use all your abilities to clear. So now you're just kind of here, wasting time, losing time. You could have got mids. You could have got oracles. You could have helped your duo lane. I hope it works out and you do get a late kill here. But ideally, you're there already and they don't die. So your pathing needs to be more precise. As soon as you steal that red, you're looking for the next farm, not the chase the kill. Crap. You need to be thinking ahead a little bit. Like I said, ends up getting you a kill. Great. Mainly because these kids are bad, though. Really bad. It seems like they have no communication. Too much going for kills. You should just be clearing and looking for farm. It's so like he's a greedy fuck, though. A very greedy fuck. If your Ares has Shane's there, you actually do kill him, which is awkward. They still kill him? Nice. All right. So like an idiot. Uh, you should be backing right now. So one, two, three, four. You lost three to four seconds right there running away for no reason. Something to think about. So that's seven total seconds that you've lost out of this game just by making, and I didn't even add in the time you, where you wasted running to rat. So we'll estimate like 10, 11 seconds that you've already wasted doing nothing just because you weren't thinking ahead, planning out your next move. I'm going to be really like DM Brandon-esque where, oh my gosh, she just lost five gold. Uh, the game is over. Not, I'm going to be kind of like that with time because it does add up. And if you don't really think about it as all every second is valuable, you don't actually understand the game at the highest level. Because at a competitive level, those three seconds can literally ruin the next five minutes of the game for you. If you're that late to a buff, to a camp, to this or that, it can ruin 
so much of the game just by not thinking ahead, planning out, and knowing what you're going to do and what you should be doing. That was a little late on the chase. I'd say as of right now, you are way too worried about killing people. Your main goal right now is killing people while you are taking buffs and stuff along the way. And sure, you have gotten some kills. They are easy kills because these players are bad. They're not you making a play. They're, these players are bad, making really bad decisions, overextending. They know you're in the right jungle, yet they're still playing up here. They're just bad. So in your head, remember, you won't always get these kills. You can't play Smite as a I want to get kills type of game. It's an objective-based game. Now, you are getting the kills. Great. Just cannot be your only focus. It can't just be, oh, I'm going to kill, 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 kill. Like right now, go take their purple buff. Why are you three manning the wave? Go get your lead up. You do not get your lead off of just kills. I'm glad you checked. But some players wouldn't have checked. So at least you knew to go look at it. You also want to get wards. Um, can't see your items. I'm not thinking of boots two. You might have boots three. No, you have, you have too much movement speed. You have boots three, I'm pretty sure. Uh, which is great. So you need to go grab some wards on your next back. These guys are giving you the freest ganks ever. And I'm betting you throw this lead because it's a 50 fucking minute game. I'm betting you throw this lead by diving and trying to go for too many kills instead of going for objectives. I'm going to skip ahead of your back. You ran straight up the lane or straight up the left side jungle, grabbed your speed. You're looking for invades, which is great, but where are your wards? You're six minutes in and you haven't warded yet. If you're trying to win a game in Smite, like, you actually want to win and become a better player. You need to be warding regularly. If you're just going for straight kills and you don't give a fuck because you're playing for fun, sure, you're not going to ward. The overextension here is wild. It actually blows my mind that these kids are uh, overextending this hard. Nice rotation from you and your jungle. Or sorry, you and your support. Let me jump back because it looks like you go for another kill here. It's a really high potential for a kill. Yeah, I was going to say, I bet something's missed. Yeah, it's Aegis though. So even though you missed an ability, you still get Aegis. It's not the end of the world. And you're going for the aid, which is beautiful. They're very low in duo lanes. So I'm sure you're looking at that. All right. When you're invading a buff, I know... In your head, all the low-level players have told you, kill the side creeps first. They do the damage. Kill the side creeps first. If you're invading, all that matters is taking the main creep, the buff creep. Kill that fucking first. Every fucking time. If there's any chance someone shows up and contests this or takes it from you, drop the red first. Drop the buff part first, please. Very minor. But if that happens in a game and they secure it three fucking times in a row because you decided to kill the small creeps, Hey, guess what? You're fucked. These guys have no clue how to reset. It is actually mind-blowing. No wards. You're eight minutes in and you haven't warded. That's playing on the tower line. And you know his Aegis is down. His three is down. Your blink is up. This is a dive kill. You blink on this rare. You should have blinked already. Nah, that's a terrible ult. Nope, you're dead. You're... You could have blinked on him to never take any tower damage. You knew his Aegis was down and his 3 was down. He could not get away. You could have just ulted in if you really wanted to instead of wasting blink. You could have blinked, comboed your abilities, no ult killed him. Or you could have ulted, used your abilities, killed him. Your choice. Probably ulting would have been better there. Don't know why you waited so long. That's just a basic gank. A basic gameplay mechanic. Don't fucking dive towers for no reason. You already, that guy's level eight. You're already ahead of him. I've already killed him like four times. There's no reason to be diving a tower full health to kill a guy like that. You're nine minutes in, still no wards. You need to be looking at objectives now, so you need those wards. Your duo lane's already winning the, well, 
somehow they're losing the lane XP wise because they're fucking terrible. But in a real game, you would have already won the dual lane for this team. The game potentially should have been over. Realistically, should have been over. You guys should be able to go for objectives. I don't know how the fuck they're, your dual lane's losing. A nice skill. Don't chase. Just clear the wave. Nice. All right, like I said, you need to grab wards. You guys need to be playing for objectives. 10 minutes in with the lead you have. It's only at 700, but it should be like 3,000 if your teammates weren't terrible. And you go for gold. You push the lead quickly. Let's jump back, see where this fight, how this even happens. What the fuck? Teams invading speed. This pathing is beautiful from you guys. The fight potential here is insane. Nice alts. That was sick. You guys perfectly comboed. Hachi made it back, sadly. And picked up all the kills. And you blinked for no reason. Why did you blink? Why? Explain this to me. He just dashes down. He ulted when you ganked him. Why? Why would you blink? Where were you going? Your teammate was behind you. At low health. You got him killed, and this guy's going to live, or he's going to turn it on you, one or the other. Nice. Okay. He didn't turn it on you, but he got three kills there because you fucked up. Think about that. Where is he going to go? In your head, play out what's been used. Smite is 100% a game where you are not going to be any good if you can't keep track of the other team's abilities and your own abilities at the same fucking time. You will never be good at the game if in your head you aren't processing, all right, Hachi used to use his dash. All right, Hachi ult is down. All right, Aegis is down. All right, Soul ulted this 30 seconds ago, so it's still down. Like, that shit has to be going through your head regularly every single game. It's not back. You're sitting on 100 mana. Back to base. Stop being greedy. And you stay with 170 mana, dude. This fight is not looking good for you. You are gonna one either one combo kill somebody and run out, or you're dead. You're dead. Why? What are you gonna do with 100 mana? You're just there. If your team is dying, it's okay. Let them die. They fucked up. They were out of position. Now you got no speed buff. You lost all that time. You could have been farming. You gave them a kill. They potentially could have gone for Gold Fury. You lost the gold lead. All because you're getting greedy. Your one death is off of diving. Your second death is off of being greedy without diving. You need to slow down on your abilities and use your one before your root. I've played on console. I know what it feels like. Slow them first so the root's easier to hit. Plus, you know he's going to dash anyway, so don't ult. Team can secure kills. And even if somehow he gets away with one HP, it's fine. You go for Gold Fury. Your, gut, your team should be pulling Gold Fury right now. Late call. You lost like two seconds that you could have been killing it. So imagine two, two more seconds on it. It would have been at 50% already. Would have caused more confusion and more chaos. Your Cullen's getting out rotated because he's really bad. And it's Cullen mid. So you're going to have the rat coming in behind you. Potentially the soul rotating. You need to drop this. They got gold fury. Once rat ults, just drop it. Let him waste his ult. It sucks really bad here if you don't pick up kills. And you didn't kill Rat. You wasted Loki ult to kill a fucking sub back. So you got one kill and lost Gold Fury. Bad. Really bad. For the love of God, please start using your one before your three on console. On PC, it's fine. It's so much quicker to flick your three out than it is on console to get it accurate. You lost your speed. 
Cullen took your speed. What a fucking piece of shit. Your Cullen's a dick. And he also sucks. He's been completely irrelevant in this game so far. You are being aggressive here and still looking for farm, which I'm always happy about. You still haven't warded those. Seven. Oh, no, you have a ward. You haven't. Oh, yeah, you put you warded once. So we're 17 minutes in and you dropped your first ward. You need to get your second ward down on this right side of the map to help your duo aim just in case. But just keep farming like you are. That ult was well timed. I think you kill him. Nice. Yeah, you just want to get the fuck out. Yep. Just nope one out of there, boy. There you go. Get the mids. Stop looking for kills. Farm! Objectives! Farm! It's triggering me that all you're worried about is kills. You do not win games off kills. People will be like, Yo, you're, you probably, in your head, you probably thought you threw this game. But you didn't throw this game. You were never in a position to win because you were never taking objectives. You lost the only objective in 17 minutes. And then you're not even going for the side farm. You could have got rights before you ganked mid. You could have got lefts right there while you were standing to the side. You're so worried about helping your team and farming that it's ridiculous. No, sorry. I said farming. You're so worried about helping your team and getting kills that you are not farming as much as you could have. You should be level 17 right now. And I'm not even trolling. You should be level 17 right now. Easily. Imagine being the highest level in the game. You actually would be farming. Well, your Loki's level 19 because it's a fucking Loki. But outside of him, you'd just be farming everybody. You're looking for too many kills here. You're playing on the tower line for no reason. Portal demons up. You can look for mids. You can look for their buffs. Grab oracles. You're just kind of here. You're standing on the tower line just being there. Go just 100%. You want to kill, 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 kill. Smite is not Team Slayer, Call of Duty, Team Slayer, Halo. It's an objective-based game based on decision-making. Just getting kills does not win games. I've won games in the SPL where I was down 20,000 gold because people did not know how to go for objectives. I'm glad your team is picking up the slack here, grabbing some fucking kills. Now go for portal demons, stop fighting. Go for portal demons, stop fighting. You literally run away and then run right back into every single fight. There has not been a fight where you just ran away. I hope you live, but I don't think. Uh, is the subject bad? Wait, is he? Yep. That no reason. Stop fighting so much. Stop going back in. Your kills have got you nothing in this game. We're 21 minutes in and you have got nothing for your kills. You're up a thousand gold, two thousand gold. Portal demons up. Gold Fury's up. Your Loki is fucking huge. Your Loki's even in the team fights. It's like the dream. You gotta stop using your two for damage as well. It, unless you're last hitting with it, stop using it for damage. Early game, it's a little bit different because it's one of your abilities. It just adds another 80 damage out. But you throwing it in there instead of auto attacking when it's gonna do a fuck ton to just auto attack, just kill this rat! I'm glad you killed him, but goddamn, just kill the rat the next time he dashes on your ass, please. That's so much tunnel vision. You could have killed both. Where was Soul gonna go? Soul could not have gotten out. No fucking way. You finally got an objective. Got it. Hopefully you live. Just run. Just nope one out. Nope one out of there. Nice. Finally. See if we can't skip to the next team fight. Okay, look at this. Stop worrying about these kills, man. All you want to do. We're 23 minutes in of you just trying to fight the whole time. Why? Why is that all you're doing? No matter what, you don't give a fuck. You're just running W key fight over and over again. You never did the mids. Why did you not get the left mids? Why are you not getting the free farm? Why are you not level 20? Why are you twoing for damage? I'm skipping that because I don't even care. Your team is literally like, I don't know. Your team is fighting very well, but you're fighting too fucking much for no reason. In your head. When you see somebody in the early game, you pretty much take any kill you can get because it's super valuable. 
in the mid to late game, when you start looking at people in terms of, I want to kill, gank, whatever, you do it based on what objective is up. If I kill this guy, can we get gold? If I kill this guy, can we get a fire? Can we get a tower? If I kill this guy, can I get red? If I poke him out and he runs away, can I steal their red buff, their back buff, their back creeps? What are you getting for what you are doing? And what is the potential for you dying for what you are doing? And none of that is being processed right now. It's very obvious because you just see somebody and you run right past the camp. You're like, mm, nope, Sobek. It's a fucking tank, Sobek. How are you going to kill him with two people? I'm going to see how this you ended up here. How they ended up there actually is more like it. They were invading purple as three. All right. I know your team is team fighting here, right? Your Loki is in the left lane. Your team should be retreating. You should just be spamming retreat, 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 run away. Because at, at best, it'll turn into a, like, 4v4, maybe, if you go over there. Uh, probably going to be a 4v5, so it is in their favor. They're all, you're only up 5k. You do a fire, but it's in their favor. It'd be a 5v4 in their favor. Tell them to retreat and push the mid fucking lane. Objective play. Objective play. If that, if you don't take anything else out of this coaching, I wouldn't give a fuck. You have to start playing for the objectives. It's great you get kills because this other team is bad and overextending over and over and over again. But right there, you could have pushed all the way into the Phoenix. And your team's at full health. But in a real game, they're not just going to be one person sitting at the purple buff. That's going to be all five of them ready to kill you or kill somebody. So your team is going to get fucked. So look for the objective play, which is taking the tower. Please kill this guy. There you go. It's taking the tower. It's on your team to retreat. Back the fuck out. You don't get Phoenix, which blows my mind because you got two kills and the chalks and left. So the soul and the rat somehow defended with no front line. When you have heavy front line, you have Kakulin, you have Ares, you have Ravana, and you have a Loki who can dive whenever he rotates over. You definitely should have got that mid Phoenix there. Uh, you shouldn't have been the one engaging that fight, but you should have been with your team just telling them to engage, just dive. There's no way a soul rat defends against four people against Phoenix with the creep wave coming in. I'm glad you guys like are playing up. It's just not enough. You lost fire. Fire's off, you're out. When you lose fire, you're out. I, I hope this ult gets you a bunch of kills, but it, realistically, you're out. Fire falls off. You back. You buy wards. You set up for the fire giant. Nice. You're looking at a kill. I'm glad this worked out. But 99% of the time, as soon as fire falls off, which it had been off for a while because it's respawning here in a second, just back the fuck out. Go set up for the next fire giant. Lose, like, fighting without fire in games, especially when you don't have a really big lead, like, 12k plus you will lose the fights just because of that there are many fights you'll lose not having the fire giant buff being extra greedy which honestly i kind of like right here because you know there's three down i don't think you'll be able to get this phoenix yeah you're not gonna get this phoenix you do be very careful hopefully you live i think you're out because loki rotated nice yeah I like you being greedy, but you need to pay attention to the corner and make sure no one's rotating over. Have wards that you can place. So you bought a chalice, and that chalice came into play. I don't even know when. 15 minutes? 20 minutes? If you don't buy this in the first five minutes of the game, it's worthless. Don't. I wouldn't even buy it in general anymore. Um, that was a terrible pickup to buy that late. 20 minute pickup? That's 20 minutes of wards you should have had. That's crazy. Never do that. That's so bad. Mm, I understand the thought process of the Witchblade, but. 99 they, they really have one auto attack god which is the hachi sure souls auto attack hits hard but this motherfucker is not an auto attack god he's still doing ability based magic damage uh, you essentially have no defense if i'm buying anything here for a hybrid damage and defense i'm getting a void shield uh, that's just not doing enough if they had like a kali or an auto attack jungler a baka then this would be great 
But they have really one auto attack god, so that Witchblade is highly questionable. You guys lost Phoenix, which is really fucking rough. I hope you kill this guy. Oh no. Please kill this guy. Here we go. Skipping ahead because you guys should be doing fire. <clears throat> you guys have fire. You have a mid phoenix. All right. You have a mid phoenix already. Your right phoenix is taken. You're pushing right. I know your Aries is over there holding the way, but it's a fucking support Aries. It's an Aries in general. How is he supposed to be clearing that? Get your all's asses over to the right side of the map. Push in their fire waves and take the phoenix on that side first. So your waves aren't being pushed. It's a obvious plus you get to cross the mid lane to push that in as well like that that is the obvious push the fact that this game goes another 20 minutes is horrible it means you guys threw so hard or just did nothing the split push if anyone here is you in the left lane your whole team should have been right earlier and because your loki is in the game he probably wants to split push so he definitely should have just stayed where he was and you should have gone over to that other lane and push. Should be hovering and pushing in the mid wave. You're diving a chalk, which I don't like. You do a brawlers, which I am proud of you for getting. And you got the same Phoenix again. You guys are very worried about the tanks. I don't like it. Nice wrap. That was super sketching me out at first. Like, where the fuck is he going? We're going to skip ahead because I'm pretty sure you're backing. If you guys dive here, you're super dead. What on earth are you doing? What are you doing? Your Shibalanke has one health. You were low health, low mana. What were you guys thinking? Got to pay attention to health bars for these objectives. Trying to find the next team fight. You looking for picks here in between is dope. I honestly like it. I don't know if I'm diving this far. So at that point, I don't know how this is going to play out. But you don't see anyone from the other team on the map. I know in my experience at high level of play, if I don't instant if I see somebody and I avoid wards and I get to them and I don't insta kill them with my first rotation of abilities, I'm running away because their whole team's rotating. And you're chasing we're like 10 seconds in now. I hope you kill them. Great. But in a real game, you're fully rotated by the whole team already and dead before you kill them because it took you too long. Because you ran straight W keyed at him for way too long. But this pick, I hope you guys grab an objective. Probably should have po poked the Hachi right there just to push him out. I'm pretty. Whoops. Fuck that up. You did end up getting the Phoenix. You have two Phoenixes down. Reset, heal up, go left. Reset, heal up, go left. Nope, your dude dies inside. You're being chased and you're dead. You guys should have been out. And you, it's okay to leave your team behind if they're diving like idiots. Gotta, gotta make sure you don't fuck that up. Just let them die. If one person dies but you get a phoenix, worth. You'll have, you would have had two phoenixes and the ability to wait for his respawn and push left because you still have your 3k pot, the fire giants up. You got everything. You're like good to go. Oh, wait, when the fuck did you get left phoenix? Oh, they chased your Loki. Your Shibalanke got it. Dude, you must have shredded that shit. Nice. That's huge. That is fucking massive. I don't even care if you get kills here. That's massive. Oh, nice. Kill. Um, I'm probably just backing here. Maybe looking for their farm. You're definitely not going to end. You kind of have an advantage because they're taking so long to kill your Ares. Uh, they took like 20 minutes longer than they should have. But your Loki doesn't have a wave going in. The left wave isn't going in. Your mid wave is deep being defended by the soul. There's only three of you that would have been on it. I'm pretty sure you guys just back off or all of you need to be grouped up already. You're not being grouped. Like everyone not being as five for that push on left into the defense for the Ares. Just game throwing. Your Loki just keeps one shot in the squishies, which is great.
Not sure if dying for the Phoenix there is worth when Fire Giant is up. Actually, I'm positive it's not. Just focus the objectives as a team. Five man, get the fire. Go split push in your all your with higher waves and take the objectives. Take the Phoenixes in the game. Do you guys at one point at all three Phoenixes? And they're double respawning right now. I think you just threw here. All right. First mistake, Fire Giant's at full fucking HP. Why are you running into this fucking pool? Never defend the Fire Giant unless they're insta-killing it because they're fucking huge. Never defend the Fire Giant unless the walls are already up. So you're in here before the walls are coming up. And now guess who's inside the walls about to take fire damage? Uh, you. And the Hachi got out and didn't take any fire damage. Don't run into there. Start trying to fuck them up when you see the Fire Giant's at 70% and the firewalls aren't up yet. Just unnecessary damage. You with that root, you actually live. That's crazy. Look for your blink out if he keeps chasing. But I think you're okay. If you wait, your team can also rotate to the fire faster and the defense is just way cleaner. I feel like you take the fire there and get one or two kills if you just wait a second or two to go in. Wait for the firewalls to come up. They haven't gotten it yet, so it's okay. Like, none of this has lost you the game yet, but it's making the game be super delayed. You just ulted for a portal demon at 45 minutes. The only objectives on the map that matter are the phoenixes, the titan, and the fire giant. Your ultimate is not worth the portal demon right now at this point in the game. Plus, you know Loki is split pushing, so why the fuck are you fighting? Crazy. All right. You can't do half and half. You ulted in, didn't kill anybody. You ran away. You stayed there for a minute, and now you're just running. You're trying to W key at them again. It doesn't make any sense. The idea here doesn't, nothing here makes sense. You were either in for the fight or you weren't. You can't in, out, in, out. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, make a choice and stick with it. You backing out meant you were out at that point. It was retreat. It was go push the mid lane in, retreat the fuck out of there. Hopefully your Loki picks this up, but I have a feeling he's going to die for it. Yeah. Rough. Rough. Just so many small mistakes making the game nearly impossible for you to win. Like right now, he should be getting out. What the fuck? It makes no sense. It's awesome that you guys have so many kills, but you just have been horribly on the objectives. Horribly. You're so worried about kills. They're out. They're definitely out. You got to stop chasing. You got to stop chasing. They're long gone. Go for grab your farm. Grab your buffs. Set up for fire giant. Great split push in. Getting the waves pressured. Got to go grab that fire. Yeah, your team dying in mid is so dumb. You did really, you did that fine, just pushing in the waves. Your team was way too far up, not being safe. You guys are so worried about fighting. Oh, you have a DC. I guess that's why you're just worried about trying to kill him. I don't know. I think I'd wait out, see if my DC came back. Your Loki's playing like you are. He's just like, I want to kill. I don't care if I die. Worth. And it's not worth. All right. You end up losing this game because of DC. I can't really coach you guys based on this point because it's unfortunate. Um, 100% you as a player are playing this like it's a team slayer. I want to out kill the other team. That's not how the game's played. That's why SPL games are won 11 to 3 and shit like that. That is not how the game is played whatsoever. You 100% could take 10 steps back and start focusing on your objective play and become a million times better player. Million times. That would be the key to everything for you right now is stop worrying about kill, 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 chase, 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 kill, 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 gank, gank, gank. Worry about stealing the red, stealing the backcamps, 
getting a gank right after the gank where are you going i'm going to get oracles i'm going to get mid camps i'm going to push out the mid wave i'm going to go take their back left i'm going to go look at their speed i'm going to get the timer on their purple think ahead objectively you are a better player 100 percent, because you can see it you're not bad sure some of the players you're playing against are fucking up pretty hard and that'll punish you later on but for now you have a lot you can do to expose and learn and become a much better player much faster and that's where you're at so hopefully this coaching helps you heartless hopefully it helps everybody else who watches this please think about joining the channel becoming a member remember to hit the subscribe button like this drop a comment if you guys ever want coaching um for long gameplays like this it's 50 dollars for Gameplays under 30 minutes, it is $25. Uh, you can go into my stream, donate, message the gameplay. It has to be on Twitch or YouTube, the actual gameplay of you playing. It has to be on Twitch or YouTube. Message it to Tally Ho, and we'll get it done. Throw it up on YouTube, and you can have this coaching done for you. Any role. Uh, just remember that. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you all later tonight.